This video is going to talk about my monthly dashboard and my task and personal goal pages. I am going to do videos that are going to take apart each and every one of my sections. So hopefully you will understand how that works for me. So I am going to start with my very first one. I will say that when I started this, I... I've always had some type of monthly dashboard or some kind of monthly goals or like a family section or like a goal section, but I didn't know how to a lot of the times incorporate it into my planning until I got to March of this year. Um, usually this section would be in rings or it would be separated and it was not all in one place and sometimes that's what brought a lot of the frustration for me. So what I did is I started to create um, like vision board, monthly dashboard, and then personal goals and a master task list to focus on. One would be for myself, for my family, and then just like things that I know I wanted to remember, which is important memories. So a lot of these little monthly calendars that you see, this one's from Red Lyrics. Every month I set it up. Um, this one was just from Pinterest. I mean, you can go and Google calendars, monthly calendars. <laughs> She's singing her favorite song. And um, you can find these and, and, you know, everything's, you know, free. I always say free is better. So I liked using this for just ticking off the days, just knowing exactly where I'm at. This little insert here is just a memories recap. I started doing that in March with Marcia Bramucci's insert because I wanted an area to, throughout the month on one page, just remind me of what happened that month. And I guess it's like a one-liner. Sophia started using underwear. I started taking melatonin. My husband started physical therapy. So stuff like that. Then it came to like a dash of monthly goals and tasks. Now that changed from month to month. Um, but in April, um, excuse me, March, I did like an area for our monthly things I wanted to focus on in terms of what I needed to do as a whole for the month, just at home. So schedule family pictures, outfits for summer, daylight savings, schedule blood work, vitamin D with Baker, you know, just a lot of this became what I needed to do for my house. Right at the front, in front of everything, I can base a lot of goals on it. I can base a lot of to-dos on it. And it's an extra space for me. Um, sometimes I would do it to buy. Sometimes, and then I would use a lot of the different little post-its. It's kind of like a vision board, in, in my opinion, with, you know, tasks. So speaking of tasks, um, I always had like a month, 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 master task list and I can just dump long-term things that I know I need to do throughout the month that probably won't take place in the day or the week. Um, a part of my weekly planning or daily planning rather is just to go look over here and see if there's anything I can do, buy, fit in the budget, whatever whatever I wanted to put and I always made it pretty I always made it something I wanted to focus on so that's like the main master task list um I've changed these pages throughout the months first they were focus on then they changed to personal values it was mainly for me so this page is always kind of like geared towards me and it's like here, I wanted to research Bible schools, look at a curriculum, cost and time, self-compassion books, call the ortho, I need an implant, um, something for our business. I mean, so it just kind of morphs into whatever I need it to be. Meditation and yoga at home, CBD oil, check into it, start valerian root. So this is all just for me. When it comes to this month, I've kind of broken it out differently. So tasks can be anything for my family, anything. And so um, I've also broken it. Okay, can you give me a minute? 
I try to gather everything I know she needs, but <laughs> I forgot the cup. So this month I started to do something new, which is to incorporate my family members. So my son, my husband, Sophia, and then this can be for notes, but my personal goals and my master task are still there. And what gave me the ability to do that was the longer pages. Are you sticking stickers on me? So like my goals here, start lifting, increase for exercise, eat more veggies, not just juice it, don't use credit cards unless an emergency. And August tracking for my weight, September scripture plan, turn the camera around on YouTube and do a video front facing. So it's, this all works hand in hand. And this month I'm going to track stuff on YouTube, like what I want to um, do on this page, like what I want to film. I didn't do that in the past. I used it um, at the front, you know, when I tipped this in, the back was used for like a therapy recap. I'm in therapy. So I would use that for that. What I wanted to clean. I mean, so it just varies. And this is a part of my planning system. I feel like having a master task list and personal goals at the forefront of each month, along with my memories, just kind of sets the, the, the foundation for what's going to come in these pages here. So this is my very first B6 Slim. And I, if you watch a few channels back, I did house it in this um, Jubun Techo cover. And then this is the one after that. You guys have seen many times. And then obviously this is my newer one. So it's a dashboard. It's a, it's a fun way to use, to plan my goals, to plan my things that are pertinent to my family, what that's important to me. I'm assuming it will definitely evolve as the months or days go by or weeks or whatever. And as you see, it morphed into more here from when it was, when I was using it over here. So that is an integral part before I start getting into the meat over here is the foundation of tasks, more long-term. I migrate those a lot more of my personal goals, go things I want to remember for my family members. And then this is just like a real nice vision board with my important memories that I'm going to pull from every single day as they happen. This is, I mean, I don't do it every day. I do it, you know, multiple times a day. It just depends on what I want to do. It's just something that I've always kind of wanted and I didn't know how to incorporate that no, best friend, don't do that until I started in March over here. So this is the first video that is going to really set off the rest of my planning. I plan to go into deeper into my tracking, um, into my brain dump, into my health and journal and week and gratitude and scripture. I don't want to be redundant because a lot of my, my planner videos are on that already, but I figured... If I break it up piece by piece, then maybe you can, you know, gain inspiration from that. But again, I like, I like pretty, I like important memories for my family. I like goals for myself, task list, a big, big, just, well, a small little space for a dumping ground, goals for my, my daughter, and then just things for my son and husband. And I like having that right up front before I start my month. So there's no... You know, it's just, there's no issues. There's just like, I can gain from that and then build in my weeks and my days and my, the other preceding things that follow. So I hope that makes sense. And I hope you will follow me on this particular journey of explaining each and every one of my sections. And of course, if you guys have any questions about it, let me know what is plain and simple. It's not anything like too complicated. I say that you try not to complicate your process. Don't overthink it. Just get started and make it to where it works for you because that's when your system can change and go wherever if you make it, you know, um, according to what you like. God bless you.